Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this year's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Let's keep everyone safe for this Halloween season, but we need your tips on these most wanted ghouls. Halloween can be a spooky time of year. Witches, goblins, zombies, and even black cats get attention. The next fugitive mugshot looks like they've seen a ghost, and they should be scared, because we're working hard to put them in handcuffs. Daniel Anthony Vernot, wanted on two warrants for assault and violation of probation on a DWI. Vernot is a white male, 42 years old, six foot, 145 pounds, with brown hair and blue eyes. When the warrants were issued, he was living on Double Creek Road near Chestertown, but we believe he may be living in the media Pennsylvania area now. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're urged to send us that anonymous tip. At Halloween, you can also occasionally see a devil or two. Well, maybe our next fugitive has seen the devil, too, since he has 666 tattooed on his left hand. Michael Anthony Hartledge wanted for failing to appear on a possession of controlled dangerous substance, not marijuana warrant, issued in 2014. Hartledge, 25, has an address on Dorchester Road in Stevensville at the time of the warrant was issued. He was listed as 5 foot 11, 150 pounds, with brown hair and blue eyes. In addition to the 666, he has a tattoo of a star on his right shoulder, dog tags on his right arm, and a wedding ring on his left ring finger. He may be working in the construction field. Put a devilish grin on a deputy's face and help us locate this fugitive, Michael Hartledge. Do you think skeletons are spooky? This guy must not, since he's got tattoos of them on his neck. Devin Michael Fisher. Fisher's a 33-year-old white male, wanted because he's violated his probation on an assault conviction. Fisher's five foot eight inches tall, 140 pounds, blonde hair, and blue eyes. His last location that we know of Fisher was living in East Newmarket in Dorchester County. In addition to tattoos on his neck, he's listed as having both arms and most parts of his body covered with ink. Let's rattle his bones this year and bring him in to answer the charges. Now, when we receive a warrant from the court, there are deputies who leave no stone unturned until the fugitive is located, and sometimes we find them buried in the cemetery. We then remove them from the system. But we believe this next fugitive is alive and kicking. Nicole Phyllis Durrell. In 1998, Durrell was charged with a violation of probation after being convicted of a conspiracy to contribute PCP LSD, the drug. At that time, her address was on Marsh Creek Road near Preston in Caroline County. She's now 38, listed as five foot two inches tall. Durrell fled the area, turning up in Georgia. Florida was the last known location but she could possibly be in Texas using the name of Nicole Castro. She does still have family ties here to Queen Anne's County, so you're urged to do the right thing and turn her in. Or she can come in and give us a treat, turn herself in, and resolve this warrant. Again, leaving no stone unturned, Victoria Lynn Simpson, charged with a violation of probation on a controlled dangerous substance charge, not marijuana. Simpson's 22 years old, five foot eight, 140 pounds, with blonde hair and hazel eyes. She has family also here in Queen Anne's, but is believed to be somewhere in Baltimore. If you have any information on her whereabouts, please give us that call. Not everybody who comes to knock on your door is trick-or-treating. The next fugitives didn't leave with candy, but they left with tools and an air conditioner instead. Chance Carter Goldsboro, wanted for a May 2015 burglary on Churchill Road. Chance Goldsboro is allegedly to have forcibly broken into a residence and once inside, stole a drill, saw set, electric paint sprayer, and a new air conditioner. Goldsboro, also known as Soup, is 30 years old. He's five foot seven inches tall, 135 pounds, and may still have his hair in dreads. He's most likely to still be in the Chestertown area. If you know where Soup may be, Call the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office and we'll treat him to a shiny new pair of handcuffs. Thanks for watching our Halloween edition of Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Please remember this Saturday night to make sure that you're driving safe in and about all of the communities out there. Let's keep those little ghouls and goblins safe this Halloween. Special thanks to QAC TV for putting on this production. 
and special thanks to the support from the Queen Anne's County Commissioners. And super special thanks to you, the viewer, for your tips and information. Without the community and your support, Queen Anne's County would not be the safe place that it is today.